this is Gabby again with uh, this week's tutorial. Uh, still doing uh, Google Analytics this week, and uh, I thought I would go through the acquisition reports. I'm not going to go into detail on everything because that would take too long, but I thought I would give you get you a good feel for what you can find in the acquisition reports and why acquisition um, can be very useful. Um, acquisition, of course, meaning um, where are um, the folks that are visiting your website coming from. Um, how are you getting them um, and what you know how, how long are they sticking around and that kind of thing. So here um, at the very beginning um, there's an overview report which is actually new. You can see it actually says new right here and um, I think this is kind of cool because the acquisition reports didn't always have an overview and it kind of gives this really nice graph of um, where traffic is coming from uh, based on these uh, different categories. Um, organic search. So that is when it says organic, um, I'm not paying for um, the search traffic coming to my site. This is completely like someone's typing something into a web, uh, into a, a search engine, Google, Yahoo, etc. And um, whatever they're searching for is driving people to read uh, my website. Um, and it is the top way that people um, are coming to my website. So the second way is through um, direct traffic. Direct traffic are people who have bookmarked my site for some reason and are coming back to look at it again. Um, or remember my URL, they have a business card of mine and they type the URL in. So either they're, they're typing it in, they have it bookmarked, etc. Um, they're not coming from, they're not clicking on a link to get to my website from some other website. And then um, social. Uh, social is, um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, etc. So anytime um, they're seeing links to my website, um, primarily Twitter for me, um, they're following the links and coming to my website. Um, and this is all uh, for the last 30 days uh, in terms of the, the date that I'm recording this. And the last category of acquisition um, is referral. And referral is basically any websites that are referring traffic to your, uh, to your website that isn't search, that isn't direct, that isn't social. So if Google shows up here, um, it's most likely someone following a link from Gmail. If Yahoo is showing up here, it's from Yahoo Mail, etc. Um, it's usually referral traffic that isn't um, an organic search, that isn't direct traffic, and it isn't coming from a social, known social media source. All right, so if we want to uh, kind of dive into these a little bit, and you can see here um, the organic search. And um, it actually breaks it down by keyword. And so uh, the number one, <laughs> um, this is all organic search that's coming to my website. Um, and they're using the Google Secure Search or some other variant of um, a secure, some kind of secure searching where um, Google Analytics cannot detect what the keyword is that's being searched. And as you can see by this high number that a lot of people are now using um, that mechanism. A lot of people are doing secure search. They don't want people to know what they're searching for. That's all well and good, um, but you know, it's like 92% of all my traffic is uh, coming through secure search now. Um, and then beyond that, um, it's no surprise that my branded name um, and then also my uh, website URL are showing up um, as, as top uh, keywords driving traffic to my website. Um, and then some of the ones down here I think are, are kind of cool, like analytics open source. I think that's kind of cool that that's actually driving traffic. I mean, it was only one in the last 30 days, but still, um, I kind of like that that's, um, that's actually a thing, that, that something other than a mix of Endress uh, in the mix is showing up. Um, Endress Hauser is actually um, another company. Um, I believe they make measurement instruments, scientific measurement instruments. I don't know exactly. They're, they're a company in Germany or Austria or something like that, but it, it, it's a German or Germanic company. Um, and yes, Endress, um, that is my family name, and I may or may not be related to them, but it's probably so distant that it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it is interesting to see the kind of um, keywords that are driving traffic. Um, especially if you want to or are planning to do 
a uh, pay-per-click campaign, also known as a PPC campaign, where you actually pay, uh, let's say Google AdWords, um, money to put up ads for specific keywords. Um, and if you do that, it's kind of good to know what kind of keywords are driving traffic to your website already. And then, th you know, knowing things like, hey, you know what, people who come to Endress Analytics by searching Endress Analytics, um, they have a bounce rate of 66% um, versus, you know, 100% bounce rate for Analytics Open Source. Okay, so like analytics open source, of course, you know, that really don't have a, a statistical, significantly statistical sample here <laughs> with how many numbers I have because I just really don't get that much traffic. And so, and then that's the, the one downside to people using the, um, the, the secure searching is because, you know, um, there's a lot of information that's buried in here where I don't know. Um, you know, obviously it, it, it's driving a slightly higher bounce rate than my uh, branded name, um, but they are visiting a little, you know, a little bit more pages, um, and they're actually staying longer um, than uh, people coming from Interest Analytics, uh, from, this, from these keywords. And so it's like, gee, I wish I could find that out. It would be really interesting information, but, you know, the, you're, you're kind of limited based off of you know, what, uh, what, what's provided. But anyway, so this is definitely, um, I think it's interesting information. I'm going to go ahead and hit back and I'm going to go into social. I'm not going to go into everything here, but we'll take a look at the social and you can see the social links, um, for the last 30 days. Um, as I said, Twitter was probably going to be up there. Um, I'm actually getting more traffic from YouTube now. So people are watching my videos and then clicking on my, uh, link to my website from there. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then there's Facebook, um, I have a Facebook page. I don't update it as often as I probably should, <laughs> so it doesn't get as much traffic from there. Um, Paperly um, is basically a regular kind of a newsletter type of a thing that I publish to Twitter um, on a regular basis. And I, like every day I have a new Paperly and it gathers together analytics um, data or analytics news. And I send it out to my um, subscribers on Twitter. And so some of them might click through to the newsletter. And then from the newsletter, they may or may not click because um, there's, I think, the link to my website from there. And then finally, there's LinkedIn. Um, and actually, LinkedIn, LinkedIn and Twitter are actually my two number one um, sources for clients right now. Um, so it's, it's always good to see um, LinkedIn driving some traffic to my website. All right, so um, let's then go ahead and we take a look at channels. And that actually uh, is very similar to the um, overview category, just with a slightly different representation. You've got your, your regular graph up here. Um, you have your table of data here, etc. versus this type of view where you can kind of see, hey, that organic search not only is you know driving the most visits, uh, it's also driving the highest bounce rate <laughs> um, and um, the lowest goal conversion rate. People coming from social, it's the lowest visits, but it's actually um, the high, um, that's the second highest bounce rate here, but it's actually also the highest um, goal conversion rate. So that's kind of cool. Um, so this is, it's a different view, um, overview versus channels. Um, and I believe that these things, basically, they drill down into the same kind of reports um, either way. So looking at the all traffic report, um, it breaks everything down based on the source of um, the traffic, where it's coming from, and then the medium, if it's organic or referral, etc. cetera. Um, and this is also very interesting information because you can say, oh, look at, you know, look at the Google organic and look at the bounce rate and see which, which one has the lowest bounce rate. So YouTube. Um, has the lowest bounce rate um, of my top 10 um, referral um, traffic referrals or uh, traffic acquisitions. So I think that's kind of cool. And it also has one of the higher um, pages per visit, 3.25 um, visit duration. So people who are coming um, to my website based off of you, my YouTube videos um, are much more engaged with my website um, than, let's say, people who are coming from Google or um, coming from, let's see, I'm not entirely sure why Copa Theme is sending me traffic, but okay. 
um, or let's say like my paperly, etc. So it is, it, I, you know, this is very, um, I think, important information to kind of say, okay, where is um, not only m the most traffic coming from, but where's the most engagement coming from? Where are they bouncing less, um, viewing more pages, staying on the site and dive uh, a little bit further into social? And uh, this kind of this top here kind of gives you an edu it's it's gives you an education message, and it shows uh, some things in terms of your social impact and what it means and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then as you scroll down, it kind of gives you like a social value, um, which I haven't set up an actual m monetary value for it, so that's why everything is in zeros. Um, but you can see here how many visits I've gotten from social. Um, social referrals, conversions, social networks, uh, Twitter and YouTube being uh, really the, the top for me right now in terms of driving traffic to my website. Um, and then here's a couple of other things that I haven't actually enabled yet in terms of like shared URLs and social sources and that kind of thing. Um, so, the, you know, but this definitely gives you kind of another um, way of looking at and another kind of an overview of your social um, data. And then we've got network referrals here. Um, again, looking at the breakdown, and I only have these four social networks that drive traffic for me. Um, and here it's like visits via social referral versus all visits. So you can kind of see a side-by-side -side comparison of here's all my traffic and here's my traffic via social referral. And so you can see there's a spike over here. Um, let's say Wednesday, February 5th, um, I had 16 social referrals at a total of 37 visits that day. And so a significant percentage of my, my traffic that day was driven from social. Um, have a little spike over here, a little tiny spike over here. Um, so it's, it is interesting to kind of get a, 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 like, hey, you know what, you just put out this great tweet, you know, how, how much impact is it having um, on driving traffic to your website and that kind of thing. So this is a, a really good report to see that. Okay, and I'm going to skip a whole bunch of these because I really have no data um, for those reports. And we're going to go down to visitor flow. So um, a lot of these categories like audience acquisition and such um, have visitor flow uh, reports. And it's the same report really, uh, but in this case it defaults to social network to begin with um, instead of like um, geography or something. And we kind of went over visitor flow in the previous um, tutorial. So if you really want to understand um, how visitor flow reports work, you know, please uh, view the previous uh, tutorial. But um, I hope this kind of gives you a flavor for um, acquisition and where traffic is coming from and how to kind of basically interpret some of that data and uh, make it work for you. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about any of this, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have um, or maybe even do an additional video tutorial um, to clarify things um, if warranted based on the questions. Um, so until next week, uh, take care. Bye-bye.